polygons take any plain surface like a paper and keep a dot on it this dot is called as a point and points are represented using capital letters similarly take many points on a plain surface and join these points without lifting hand and without retracing any of the portions then a figure is formed this figure is called as a plane curve to define a plane curve it's a plane figure formed by joining a number of points without lifting a pencil from the surface and without retracing any portion of the drawing other than single points so these are few examples of curves a curve can be formed using straight lines or using bent lines this figure isn't a curve as we have to lift our hand while drawing this figure we can't call this as a curve open curve a open curve is something which is not continuous and it will have two different points one is starting and the other one is the end point and also these curves they doesn't enclose any area within it and these curves will also have some open ends which are in joined with each other closed curves when a curve is continuous means we can't tell which is the starting point or end point of it then such curves are called as closed curves and these curves completely enclose some area in itself simple curve is something which doesn't have its lines passing a simple curve doesn't pass through one point more than once so all these circles oval rectangle and the shapes shown here are simple curves non simple curves will have a curve which crosses itself at any one or more points polygon a simple closed curve made up of only line segments is called as a polygon for example if we have two sets of drawings here out of which the first set has got all closed figures and the lines are straight so such figures are called as polygons if we look at the second set the figures are formed using bent lines and those figures that are with straight lines have line segments crossing each other so these figures in set b are not polygons so in a polygon if we look at this these are formed using the line segments and the line segments that are forming a polygon are called as sides of it and the points where two sides intersect are called as vertices of that particular polygon here a b c d are vertices a b is a side similarly b c c d and da are sides of this polygon adjacent sides any two sides with a common end point are called as adjacent sides in this figure ab and bc are adjacent sides with b as a common point similarly bc and cd form adjacent sides with c as common point cd and da form adjacent sides with a common point at d adjacent vertices are the end points of the same side consider the side ab in this point a and b are called as adjacent vertices now when we join any two non adjacent sides with a line segment that particular line segment is called as a diagonal here a and c form non adjacent vertices and b and d form non adjacent vertices on joining this for this particular polygon we will get two diagonals for any polygon we will have a line segment 
a group of line segments connected to each other forming a closed figure that particular thing is called as a polygon and the area that is within this polygon here is the shaded portion is called interior of the polygon and anything that lies outside this polygon is called as exterior for the polygon when we take points on a plane surface they can be either on the polygon here like a b c they are exactly on the line segments so they are on the polygon d e f are the points that lie within the polygon so they are interior points g h i are the points that lie exterior to the polygon which form the exterior points classification of polygons polygons can be classified depending upon the number of sides or vertices it has got if a polygon has got three vertices it's called as a triangle four vertices quadrilateral five pentagon six hexagon seven heptagon eight octagon nine nonagon ten decagon similarly if we have n number of sides we write it as n dash g o n n gon convex polygons polygons are also classified depending upon few other characteristics say if a polygon has got all diagonals inside the polygon along with that all interior angles measure less than 180 degrees such polygons are called as convex polygons the regular shapes that we see like triangle square rectangle pentagon all these are convex polygons concave polygon if any of the diagonals is exterior to it and if we have any angle which measures more than 180 degrees then it is called as concave polygon consider this figure with what is this mentioned here at c we can see the angle is greater than 180 degrees so this is a concave polygon b and d are two non adjacent vertices and if we join these it forms a diagonal and if we see here the diagonal is exterior to the polygon so it is meeting both the conditions which makes this to be a concave polygon regular polygons polygons that are both equiangular and equilateral are called regular polygons this means when we take any polygon and the measurement of all of its sides are same then it is equilateral and if all the angles are same it is equiangular here on the sides if we see there is a small dash which indicates that the length of all these sides are same so this is equilateral similarly even at angles when we have this mentioning with two lines or a single line it means they are of same measurement even on sides we can have two dashes which means they are of equal length for any polygon with side n we have certain formulas to calculate the number of sides for any regular polygon with n sides number of diagonals can be calculated using n into n minus 3 by 2 consider for a quadrilateral which has got four sides substituting the values 4 into 4 minus 3 divided by 2 and calculating it will give two diagonals so a quadrilateral has got two diagonals similarly to calculate the sum of interior angles n minus 2 into 180 consider triangle with three sides in that case 3 minus 2 into 180 that is 1 into 180 is nothing but 180 sum of angles in a triangle is 180 if we take any regular polygon and want to find the interior angle for that n minus 2 divided by n into 180 is used consider a pentagon with n equal to 5 in that case 
If we substitute the values 5 minus 2 by 3 into 180, consider a pentagon with consider a pentagon for which we have n equal to 5. In this case, we have 5 minus 2 by 5 into 180. So 3 divided by 5 into 180. This gives 3 into 36, that is 108, is the measurement of angle, interior angle for a regular pentagon. Points to remember in this concept are, a polygon with two sides is not possible. The minimum number of sides required to form a polygon is 3. A closer curve that is not a polygon is a circle and vowel. Those are few examples because these are formed using bent lines. A rectangle is equiangular that is all the angles are 90 in that but it is not equilateral so it is not a regular polygon. So we call it as irregular polygon. A rhombus has got equilateral but it is not equiangular so it is a regular polygon. And triangles does not have any diagonals.